smile, with this lesson I want to start with taking a more in-depth look at all the individual steps of the analytical approach. As you know, the first step of the analytical approach is the doing of a tactical breakdown. Now you are going to see 20 training positions. In each and every one I want you to do a tactical breakdown and try to answer the next questions. What are the different tactical motifs and which one do you believe is the leading one? Now as silly as this may seem, we will just leave it at that. No doubt your trained chess eye will try and spot candidate moves and maybe even immediate solutions to the positions, but chess improvement is also about unlearning and about building patience. This lesson is of course about spotting tactical motifs and so on, but also about not jumping to conclusions. And that's why I'm also not going to tell you whose turn it is. We have to train us in first analyzing the positions so as to gather enough valuable information before we start looking for solutions. That way we have more beacons when we go into the ocean of candidate moves and their calculation. Okay, you know how it works. Just pause the video and after three seconds we will compare answers. Here we go. Position number one. Pause the video. Okay, well, you don't know whose turn it is, but if we look at the position, I suppose that, um, well, one important motif is that White is up in material, he's the exchange up, right? And, of course, that he has this very strong free pawn. Um, this could become a very uh, menacing free pawn, of course. Furthermore, what we notice is that White's king, on the other hand, is not feeling very happy. It would seem that he has only one available square since uh, all the other squares are taken by black's pieces, right? So, in this case, yeah, of course it would be important to know whose turn it is, but as said, we will just leave it at that and we will come back to all these positions uh, on a later moment. So I think these are um, the important or the most important tactical motifs. Okay, we go to the next position and I will also just uh, ooh, yep. I will just uh, switch also sides every now and then so as to, uh, well, <laughs> confuse you if you like. Uh, okay, um, pause the video. We'll be back after three seconds. Well, um, if we look at material, material um, is even. But of course we can see, and that is no doubt also the most uh, important tactical motif, that black has three unprotected uh, pieces on this long diagonal here. That is, of course, a very important tactical motif. Your eye should spot that and then in the next step of the analytical approach try to find candidate moves that uh, act upon this theme, upon this motif. Okay. Um, okay, let's just switch sides again. Okay, here we go. Three seconds. Well, I suppose that maybe maybe you've seen this knight fork here, right? That is an important tactical motif. I suppose it's also important to note that the queen, and I usually use yellow for defense, is still safeguarding that c7 knight fork checking square. Also, we can see that the queen herself is unprotected and that also this knight is unprotected. I suppose that sums it up quite nicely.